Hi students. I hope you're doing well wherever you're at as you're watching this lesson. What we're going to be talking about today is another pronunciation practice, um, another set of vocabulary that are nearly identical. We've looked at a few different sets in previous videos and I'll remind you of those videos if you wanted to go back and double check everything. Um, so let's jump into our set of vocabulary for pronunciation practice today. Remember that when we talk about this vocabulary, the reason that we're thinking about this vocabulary is because these words are almost identical. They are very close in both the spelling and the pronunciation, but especially the pronunciation. This is actually something in English grammar called a minimal pair. So we know the word pair, that's easy. Remember that the word minimal, think about the word minimum, like minimum wage is the smallest wage. Minimal pair is a set of words to, it could be three, four, five. We just use the phrase pair in grammar. A minimal pair has one sound that changes between the words. For example, um, on the screen here, we've got a minimal pair that are using the it or it sound. The only piece that's changing is the initial consonant sound, the sound at the beginning of the word. Um, however, the pronunciation and the meaning is greatly changing, even though the spelling is only slightly changing. Bit, hit, lit, sit, wit, kit. All six of these words we would call a group of minimal pairs. We have looked at some other nearly identical vocabulary sets. Um, video number 10 looked at like, lake, luck, um, leak, lack, a few others. Video number six, um, pronunciation number six, looked at feel, fall, fell, fill, um, full, uh, felt, a file, a few others that are very, very similar. And um, pronunciation number five looked at though, thought, through, thorough, tough, um, a few more words. Again, those vocabulary words which are very, very similar um, and that we might consider to be a minimal pair. The set that we're going to look at right now is across your screen. Um, and we're going to divide them into this group of six on the top and this group of four on the bottom. Because the group of four on the bottom have that NG, that ng, ng sound which is made up near the back of your mouth. Um, the six across the top row have just the simple N sound at the end, the N sound at the end. The four across the bottom have the ng, ng sound. So our words across the top, these six, sun, sun, sin, soon, seen, sign, and the four across the bottom, sing, song, sung, sang. And we'll jump more deeply into the pronunciation, um, how they are formed in your mouth and the meaning. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is the pronunciation of those first six words. And I'm going to go back and forth. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back and forth between my video and my notes so that you can see clearly the shape of my mouth. Uh, remember when we're talking about pronunciation, it always helps if you, following along, have a mirror or you use your phone camera to reflect back the shape of your lips so that when you're trying to form the word, you can be looking at the shape of your lips, make a comparison to the shape of my lips in the video uh, to really focus on that pronunciation. It's also always possible for you to take a video of yourself speaking the words and then listen to your pronunciation, especially when we put these words into a sentence at the end. Listen to your pronunciation. Are you making a differentiation? Are you making a pron pronunciation difference between the words or are you pronouncing all of them exactly the same? The first two words in this group are sun and sun, pronounced exactly the same. And they have that loose 
uh, 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 uh. No, no real shape to my lips, just a relaxed un, sun. Different from my word of in, sin, where you can clearly see that there's some tension in my lips. My lips are pulled back, sin, sin, sun, sin, sun, sin. And we'll talk about the meanings in just a minute. These first two words of sun and sun are what we call a homonym. Homonym means they sound the same, but they have a different meaning. Um, sun and sun, sun and sun. Sound the same, different meaning, different spelling. Sun, sun, sin. Soon, un, un. Your lips are going to be really small and round, a little bit tight. Think about the word blue, ooh, ooh. Blue, ooh, ooh. Soon, un, un. Um, think about the word moon, un. Sun, Sin, soon, un, un. Then we have seen, in, in. My lips are really wide and really tight, and I can feel the tension in my cheeks around. In, seen, sin, seen. The difference between sin, seen. My in is even tighter. Sun, Sin, seen. You notice my cheeks pull back. My cheeks are even tighter and wider. Sun, sin, seen. Soon. Our last one in this group of six is the word sign. And you hear the sound of I, I, sign. My mouth goes really big and wide. Um, a lot larger than in. Ein. My whole mouth is open. So let me run through these six. And remember that the first two sound exactly the same, but they're spelled differently. They have different meanings. They are homonyms. Sun, sun, sin, soon, seen, sign. Our second group of vocabulary has that ng sound at the end. And remember, we're just thinking about the pronunciation and the formation. So when I make the n sound of N alone, my tongue should be touching the roof of my mouth a little bit behind these top teeth. N, 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 n. But ng, ng happens a little bit further back in your mouth kind of in the center of your mouth, again against the top. So just really quick, make that change between n, n, and ng, ng. And pay close attention to how your tongue feels in that middle of your mouth. Our word here of sing, sing, has that i sound and a little bit of tension. Similar to our word sin, sin, sing, Sing, sin, sing. A word song has a really tall, skinny mouth. Ah, ah, ah. Song, song. So we go from sing, sing, where you have the tension. Sing, song, ong, ong. Sing a song. We change to ung, sung, ung, ung. Like my word of sun, sun, my mouth is really relaxed, really loose. There's not a lot of tension in my lips. Sun, sung, sing, song, sung. Sing, song, sung. Again, remember that you're using your camera, you're using your mirror to watch yourself while you make this pronunciation and match your lip shape or match your sound to my own. Our fourth word then is ang, ang, sang. And you want to think about a, 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 sang, sang, 
like the word day, a, a, that strong a sound, sang, ang, sang, sing, song, sung, sang, sang. She sang a song. What did she sing? Have you sung? She sang a song. She sings every day. Have you sung on stage before? Finally, we come into our meaning of our different words. Of course, our word son, meaning boy child. Sun, S-U-N, the star above the earth. Sun, sun. Remember that un has very loose lips. Sun, sun. Sin, that in having really tight, tight lips. Sin is used for a bad action. Um, sin can be a verb or a noun. Un, soon, near in time, the next recent event, a soon arriving event, closely arriving event, soon, soon. Sun, sun, sin, soon. Seen, this is our third verb of see. See, saw, seen. Soon, seen. Sign, ein. Sign also can be a verb or a noun. Um, think about sign your name. Sign can also be like a notice panel, a notice board could be a sign. Um, an important point about the word sign compared to our second word here, which I do separate. I say sig, signature, and you hear both the G and the N. In the word sign, sign, the G and N, the G is gone. The G is deleted. Sign. But sig, signature, signature. Just a small point there about those different pronunciations. Song, of course, is my music. And then sing, sang, and sung are my three verbs. First verb, second verb, third verb, past participle for my main verb of to sing. Okay, so let's put them all together at the end here into a sentence. Remember with this sentence, what you can be doing is record yourself saying it. Listen to yourself saying it. Do you make a pronunciation difference between the different words? Listen to my pronunciation Try to mimic, try to imitate, try to copy my pronunciation. Compare mine and yours. Analyze your own pronunciation. Study your pronunciation. Which part was hard for you? Repeat, repeat, repeat. My son was singing in the sun. He sang a song about things he has seen. Soon he'll have sung about signs of our changing times. It would be a sin for him to not sing. Always leave me notes in the comments, in the replies, questions that you have. Leave some sentences using this vocabulary and then uh, let me know what you thought. Let me know. Let me know what you thought about this activity. Bye, students.